My name is Noelle Carter and I run the Test Kitchen here at the LA Times and I am so excited to be here with Charles Phoenix. He is a pulp culture entertainer and expert of all things Americana. Charles, I wanna know, it's summertime, what would you plan for a summer party? Well, let's see. I would invite all my friends, of course. I'd hijack a house with a swimming pool. Excellent. And then I'd serve all my favorite new dishes that I've been whipping up in my Charles Phoenix test kitchen. Okay, you are known for your interesting dishes. Some would say crazy, some would say inspiring. I would say fabulous. Um, you're known for your cherpumple. What would you do for a summer party? Cherpumple, you mean? Cherpumple, yes. Cherry, cherry, pumpkin, and apple. Those are the three pies baked into three different cakes. Yeah. Yes. It's a three-layer cake. Um, what would I do for summer? That's actually that your pumple is more fall. For summer, I would do, well, enchazanya would be the main dish. Tell and me about enchazanya. Enchazanya is a marriage between enchiladas and lasagna. It's so good. It's unbelievable. It's kind of like, well, it's potluck perfection, let's face it. Yeah. So I would do that. And then, oh, I would have an appetizer of um, like a crudité, although that's not really a word that I use, or is that a word? Um, yeah, it is a word. Um, I, I just say Astroweenie Party Tree, which is my, my styrofoam cone covered with... Astroweenie. How do you come up with these names? Well, you know, in cooking and, and making up recipes, I mean, first of all, I'm not even a chef or a cook or anything, really. I mean, I got inspired to, to make up recipes um, because I saw I collected other people's old photos from the 50s and 60s, and I kept seeing food in photos. So I tried to kind of just take what I kept seeing in these old family photos and kind of reinvent it for today. So I started with ambrosia. I have to say, there would be a lot of ambrosia in old slides. There are. So I did ambrosia, but what I, I updated it by doing bambrosianana. That's the layered uh, side dessert dish, half um, banana pudding and half ambrosia, which I dye pink. And then the, you serve it in a clear dish so you can you know, see the layers. And you've and done everything. a demo for that for us. Yes, you've got a video of that and uh, somewhere here on the website, So I guess. like we're all gonna be making this at home after we watch this video. Uh, you know what, people love Bambrosianana, they love it. No, it's, you know what, I'm really into like fun food. It's not fine food, it's fun food. That's my thing. I'm not, you know, I mean hoity-toity, forget about it. I'm never gonna be. I thought one day that I was gonna be, but that just isn't gonna work out. So I'm like real, honest, real Americana food, like the seven layer soda pop rock cake is a cake that I made up. Each layer is a different color and you put pop rocks in between each layer and then you put it all over and when you serve it, you give them a little pop rock sprinkle on the top of it. So when you eat it, you get <laughs> in your mouth. Gonna, we tested this in our test kitchen and it was one of those dishes, it's kind of interactive because not only do you see it and taste it, but you can hear it at the I same know. time, like yeah. it doesn't stop popping. People love the seven layer soda pop rock cake because not only does it sing to you, it also gives you a little extra in your mouth, which it seems like everybody loves pop rocks. Yeah. I mean, if you mention them, they're like, oh yeah, pop rocks, of course. And you know, even like a 75 year old loves pop rocks. So, exactly, yeah. so like, s perfect summer party. I mean, nobody wants fancy food. We're all there to have fun. We're getting in and out of the pool. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not as fancy as we used to be. Like, you know, if you go back even 10 years, 15 years, we weren't serving mac and cheese and hamburger sliders at snooty parties. We've forgotten how good those dishes were. We forgot how good they are. So I'm kind of back in that world or forward in that world, maybe, to, like I said, it's fun. It's not fine. I mean, you know, please. It's just, you know, we just want to have a good time and have really fun, colorful, delicious, tasty food. Exactly, and there is no shortage of color in these dishes. You are I, a firm believer in food coloring. I do love to use a lot of food coloring. I'll admit it, I'm it's, guilty. It's fun, it's just, it's fun. I also like to mix dishes that have never been mixed before, like the uh, enchazanya. Right. Did we just talk about that? We did, but tell me more about your fusion, because you tend to fuse a lot of dishes. I do, well, bambrosianana is banana pudding and ambrosia. And then enchazanya is um, enchiladas and lasagna together in one dish. And, you know, we talked about the cherpumple. That's the fusion of cakes now and Now, that pies. was kind of the first dish that, that started this whole fusion thing for you. It, it was the first fusion, fusion dish that I did, yeah, marrying cake and pie together. And but what was the inspiration behind well, that? Well, the inspiration behind the cherpumple was the fact that, you know, at my family Thanksgiving, we had like a mile of paper plates coming out of the trash can and that's because everybody had to have a piece of everything at dessert time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why don't we just, I just stopped right there and I said, next year I'm gonna, and I stopped right there. And then the next year came and I said, you guys, we're gonna have one paper plate for dessert. I put all the desserts in one 
dish. All the cakes we have, all the pies we have now are one. It's so a fabulous idea. It's a green idea. It is, it is. I would love to thank you, Charles, so much for being here today. For more information on this story and other LA Times stories, go to latimes.com.